Hey, happy. You too good for your home? that guy he shouldn't have been standing we love you we love you yeah. you love me more than taylor maybe not <laughs> first up travis kelsey is serving up some serious mechanic vibes with his latest mustache and let's just say fans and taylor swift have big opinions but that's not all the kelsey brothers are bringing the laughs with a hilarious happy gilmore reenactment that has us all in stitches and speaking of power duos Taylor and Travis just took some well-deserved R&R at a Rhode Island mansion and the guest list, absolutely star-studded. Now before you get too excited, let's clear up those Angelina Jolie and Akela dating rumors. Spoiler alert, they're just friends. And last but certainly not least, Jaden Smith is stirring the pot once again, stepping out with yet another mystery woman, leaving fans wondering what happened to Sab Zada. So buckle up because we've got all the scandalous details coming your way. Travis Kelsey's Mechanic Vibes Let's talk about Travis's latest look that's got everyone buzzing. So the Chiefs tight end has decided to switch things up again, and this time he's channeling some serious mechanic vibes with his new mustache. But honestly, are we surprised? This guy changes his facial hair more often than some people change their socks. In the latest episode of his podcast New Heights, which he co-hosts with his brother Jason, Travis couldn't help but joke about his latest facial hair experiment. He called it the Andy Reid Special, giving a nod to his coach, who's also rocking a mustache. Travis was quick to point out that he's not trying to look like a state trooper or anything, he's just having some fun with it. And honestly, isn't that the best part about Kelsey? He's always down for a good time, whether it's on the field or in front of a mic. Now, when Travis showed up to training camp in July with his new stash, fans on X went wild. Some were all for it, saying they couldn't breathe because the look was just too perfect while others couldn't help but crack jokes about how he now resembles a mechanic. But let's be real, whether he's rocking a full beard, a clean shave, or this new mustache, Kelsey's still got that swagger. And for those keeping tabs on his love life, this was the same look he had when he first met Taylor Swift last summer. So maybe there's some charm in that stash after all. Either way, Travis's new look is here to stay. At least until he decides to switch it up again. He was real, hey, he was like real crotchety out there this morning. Mustache. Having all those guys, you know, at the end of the day. And then you got the old man. You got the old man. The old That's man. exactly what I was going oh, to I've been trying to get him to grow his hair out, and all of a sudden Taylor gets him to do it. I'm just, I'm just yeah. like, yeah. Right. Can't imagine why. Brothers Channel Happy Gilmore. If you needed another reason to love the Kelsey brothers, here it is. Travis and Jason just recreated an iconic scene from Happy Gilmore, and it's everything. On Thursday, August 29, the two NFL stars posted a hilarious video where they paid homage to the classic 1996 comedy, and let's just say, the results are gold. The video kicks off with Travis, decked out in a white hat, green polo and white shorts, standing on a golf course. He channels his inner Happy Gilmore, grinning ear to ear as he mimics the famous line, you too good for your home, before launching into that legendary run and hit golf swing. The whole scene then cuts to a clip from the original movie, complete with a golf ball flying through the air and hitting some poor guy on the head. Classic! But the laughs don't stop there. Jason makes his appearance next, with his head superimposed onto the character played by William Sasso, hilariously reacting to the hit by saying, You hit that guy! Travis, not missing a beat, responds with the equally famous line, He shouldn't have been standing there! Seriously, if you're a fan of the movie, this will hit you right in the nostalgia feels. Hey, Happy. You too good for your home? Oh. You boys are gonna pay for that! Oh. You hit that guy! He shouldn't have been standing. And here's the kicker. Travis isn't just goofing around, he's actually preparing for a role in the upcoming Happy Gilmore 2. Yep. Adam Sandler himself spilled the beans during an appearance on The Tonight Show and then discussed it further on the Kelsey Brothers podcast. Apparently, they've been brainstorming Travis playing Sandler's son. Imagine! NFL star by day, comedy gold by night. By the way, what a girl. What a girl. Anytime 
Taylor's laughing with you, my whole fucking family is like high fiving and <laughs> yes, look how good they are together. Look how <laughs> together, and you being you guys, you're. I mean, that first when it, you guys first started dating, my god, was my family like <laughs> <laughs> so good, man. You gotta be sweating over here. He's a gentleman, and, look, and she's having so much fun with it. Like throughout the years, Saturday Night Live had, saw the kids there, took her time, hung out with them at her premiere for the movie. She talked to the kids and talked to them about their movie. She just floors my family. So cool, man. Floors them. You know, they did this Bat Mitzvah movie and she talked about what she liked in it. And somebody asked me, who do you get nervous around? I said, I do get nervous around Taylor Swift because I don't want to <laughs> blow it for my kids and say something <laughs> stupid. So I'm just like. This sequel's shaping up to be epic. And with Travis on board, it's sure to bring the laughs. We're counting down the days. Taylor in our house, every tune, they knew every word. Start Taylor, to finish. You know when we start to finish? It, yeah. It's not like three hits and you go, all right, let me skip. Mm -hmm. What she meant to to young girls, what she means to women. I loved listening to her in the car. I love what she had to say, every message. Oh, yeah. What she means to guys doing the right thing in life. She means so much to our house. Since the kids. By the way, what a girl. What a girl. You what, know, man. What a, I you mean, know. Best she performer means, out here. And we listened to, and the kids were little, and we were listening to Taylor Swift and listening to, I think I was shooting like Grown Ups or That's My Boy or something in Massachusetts. Like when I was a kid, I think the Beatles you did that with, maybe Elton John, every song. It was one of the fir first times that you listened to every song on the record. Taylor's Rhode Island r and &R. It looks like Taylor Swift finally took a break from her whirlwind life and got some much needed downtime at her stunning Rhode Island mansion. And guess who tagged along? Her boyfriend Travis Kelsey and a whole squad of A-list pals. Talk about a star-studded retreat. According to insiders, Taylor has been crazy busy with her heiress tour and everything else she's got going on. It seems like she's been feeling a bit disconnected from her usual crew. So what better way to recharge than by hosting a weekend bash at her infamous holiday house? The place is practically made for these kinds of get-togethers. The timing couldn't have been better either. Fresh off the European leg of her tour, Taylor was ready to soak up some sun and just chill. The getaway was also a pre-planned celebration, perfectly lining up with the end of her tour and Blake Lively's 37th birthday. Imagine that party guest list. Blake and Ryan Reynolds, Gigi Hadid, Bradley Cooper, and even Patrick Mahomes and his wife Brittany. And yes, Jason Kelsey and his family were there too, making it a true Kelsey Swift family affair. The whole weekend was all about reconnecting and unwinding. Taylor's been on the go for so long that she was really craving some quality time with her nearest and dearest. The insider said it was a grounding experience for her, catching up on everyone's lives and just being present. And let's not forget, it was also the first time she and Travis were spotted together since he headed off to training camp. Rumor has it, she was absolutely thrilled to reunite with him. Can you blame her? Sounds like the perfect way to hit reset before diving back into the chaos. Angelina Jolie and Akela. All right, let's clear the air on the latest buzz surrounding Angelina Jolie and rapper Akela. Despite the whispers and the photos that got everyone talking, these two are not dating. Yep, you heard that right. According to some insiders close to the situation, Angie and Akela are just good friends, and there's nothing romantic going on between them. So here's the deal. Angelina and Akela have known each other for several years, bonding over their shared passion for social and humanitarian causes. They've even collaborated on a few projects focused on global issues like human rights, which is pretty fitting for those two, who are both deeply involved in making the world a better place. One source even spilled that Angie speaks very highly of Akela, but it's all platonic. The rumor mill really started spinning after the two were spotted together leaving a hotel in Venice, but according to one source, Akela's partner Chanel was also there. So if you were shipping these two, it's time to pump the brakes. They're just close friends who happen to enjoy each other's company. Of course, this speculation comes on the heels of Angelina's high-profile appearance at the Venice Film Festival, where she's promoting her latest project, Maria. Meanwhile, her ex, Brad Pitt, is also attending a festival to promote his new movie, Wolves, but don't expect any awkward run-ins. The festival's artistic director made sure their appearances are spaced out to avoid any uncomfortable moments on the red carpet. So there you have it. 
Angelina and Akela are not an item. Just two talented people with a lot in common who happen to enjoy hanging out. Sorry, no new power couple here. So of course, all other things, and, and in my own business, if there's if there's a response to the work, I'm very grateful. But and those who love opera, and my fear would be to disappoint them. Honestly, the for me, the 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 bar in this that I would know if I did good enough, are the Maria Callas fans. In my heart, to disappoint the people who love her and she means a lot to, and. Her legacy, and I really come to, came to care for her. Jaden Smith's new flame. Jaden Smith is keeping the gossip mill churning with his latest romantic escapades. Just when we thought things were rock solid between him and Sab Zeta, his girlfriend of four years, Jaden was spotted out and about in West Hollywood with yet another mystery woman. And let's just say, fans are shook. So here's the tea. Jaden, 26, was seen rocking some casual baggy blue jean shorts, a brown hoodie, and a seriously interesting accessory, a white dodecahedron sculpture. But the real eye-catcher? The mystery woman by his side who turned heads in a hot pink skirt and a stretchy black top, exuding major confidence. Now this comes hot on the heels of Jaden's very public PDA with influencer Cleopatra earlier this month. Remember that steamy boat day in Ibiza where Jaden couldn't keep his hands off Cleopatra's barely there bikini? Yeah, it's hard to forget. Fans were left wondering what happened to Sab, especially since the two were just seen on a date at the Nice Guy a week prior. Sab, clearly blindsided by the whole situation, took to social media to express her disappointment. She didn't spill all the details, but her words hinted at a painful breakup. She urged everyone to be kinder, reminding us that real people are behind these juicy headlines. But Jaden seems to be moving on swiftly, if not with Cleopatra, then with this new mystery woman. He's been spotted in his six-figure teal Tesla, living life without a care in the world. Meanwhile, Sab's heartfelt birthday tribute to him just weeks ago feels like a distant memory. What's next in Jaden's whirlwind love life? Only time will tell. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.